Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jack here and welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, um, I'm just going to be showing off a little mock that I built. So this is just a little mock to display uh, my minifigures on. I just thought, you know, I'll grab some pieces, build this, and this is actually in preparation for the 501st um, battle pack, which is pretty exciting. So my plan for this is to have the speeder bikes going down here um, and the ATRT walkers kind of at the back here. Um, and of course, if I get like three of the battle packs, I'm going to put the 501st possibly on this side um, or even more on this side. So at the moment, I've just got a couple of my clones and a couple of my Jedi um, displayed as well as the omnipotent being that is the uh, clanker here, T posing on a soul uh, with a little guy at the back. So I'm just going to walk you through this mock a second. Um, so yeah. Alright, so on the left side here we have all of my clones, so as you can see we've got a nice little Captain Rex minifig here, probably my favourite minifigure in my collection given that he is my favourite Star Wars character ever, in fact I love him so much that I've actually got a little Captain Rex um, action figure here. Hello there! So yeah, we've got a um, Captain Rex, an Arf Trooper, a Bark Trooper, two Shock Troopers, two 2 12th Troopers, two 501st Troopers, a normal clone trooper, another 501st, so yeah, I have one or two pretty rare minifigures, of course the Captain Rex um, is a pretty rare minifigure I'd say, um, very nice minifigure of course, he has that nice um, head print there, if it will focus. And on the other side here, we do in fact have my Jedi collection, so as you can see we have Anakin, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, Pon Krell, Yoda, um, these two dudes who I don't actually feature very heavily in the Clone Wars. So I'm going to go through how I actually built this. So um, I used quite a lot of snot techniques. So essentially what I did is for like these two front areas here. I'll just use this to pick it up a second. I'll move the clanker. So as you can kind of see, these are actually just wall pieces here. So I basically just built a wall with a couple of snot pieces on there. Um, to put the speed of them when I eventually get them. So yeah, these literally just slide in here. Um, they just sit in there nicely. Um, pretty cool technique. I think it looks pretty nice actually. It's the same for this one over here. For what the minifigures are standing on, you can see there's a bit of support underneath here. Now I could cover this up pretty easily, but I quite like looking at the structure. Now I've used the same snot technique at the back here for the gun holder thing here, and then of course for the little um, light that we got going on here. Uh, it just lifts up like this. I kind of started to run out of pieces, so it doesn't look too pretty at the back. But you can see I've used a couple of snot pieces here, um, and same with that one there. The way that I did this is pretty interesting, I think I'll show you. So it's the same technique that we used before. So basically, uh, to stop this from moving um, or continually coming out, um, I put this thing on the top here. Uh, so you can kind of see there's a little yellow arrow in there. The way I achieved that is because we've got two slope pieces here, um, and we've just got a yellow brick um, behind it. It kind of gives that effect of a yellow arrow kind of showing them where to go. Uh, so yeah, I've just used this kind of thing on here it connects to some of these little pins uh, that are on the mock as well so this kind of just makes it look a bit uh, neat a bit tidy so we can just plop that in there so for this next part of the mock here we have got just a little control area with a little hologram here i'll just switch this around so you can see it uh, again this is this is a custom minifigure that i made um, basically it's just got uh, mr incredible's hair he's got magneto's face and a first order um, workers uniform, nothing too interesting there, um, but the hologram is pretty cool, it's just got one of those 2x2 two two rounded uh, pieces there, with a chi, a bit of chi there, um, on top making it up, and it looks pretty decent I would say. Alright, so just one last thing that I wanted to show off is this, actually this front bit here. Alright, so guys, what I did to achieve this nice kind of smooth front thing here, which it looks pretty nice when it's on display, I'm not going to lie, is basically it's the same thing that we used at the back, so I I'm literally just pull this off here, um, it's just a normal, kind of just a bit of a hole I guess really. Again same thing, these kind of just connected there um, by a couple of snot pieces and these just can slide in, slide out. So here is the mop in its beautifulness. I just wanted to apologise for the camera quality um, but I just thought it was a pretty interesting mop and I just wanted to show it off. I don't know where the clank has gone, I think it, oh, he's on the floor there, look. This is really sad. Hang on, let's put you back up here. There you are. 
beautiful. So yeah, did you guys enjoy this video? If you did, leave a like, and yeah, thank you guys for watching.